today I've come along to support the event because I get senior people from industry engaged with education and the idea behind that is to make sure that young people come out of the education system with a better understanding about the world of work and a better understanding about where the career paths may lie and where the jobs are. So there's 421,000 people employed locally in engineering companies. In the UK unfortunately it's less than 10% ladies in engineering and I really don't understand why because the ladies that I've worked with in my career working for BP for 27 years they're fabulous engineers and technicians but at school they don't always get the right advice about it's even a possibility. For a student who's interested in getting into engineering one possible route could be to undertake a degree at the University of Hull. Two different routes really the academic route but also the vocational route so we'll talk in depth about apprenticeships and the benefits around that apprenticeship so financial gains, um, opportunity to earn while you're learning and get into work experience quite early. We recruit currently around 70 apprentices per year um, with the growing apprenticeship landscape and other opportunities coming down that track via degree apprenticeships for example. We anticipate that that will continue to grow and will continue to broaden what we offer as well. 96% of University of Hull's 2016 engineering graduates were in work six months after graduation. This is what an engineer looks like. So engineers are not necessarily people who are under cars or out there with spanners. They are people who are able to solve problems, they're able to think analytically, and they're, able, they're people who are able to talk to everybody else. The majority of the engineering companies that we work with will actually offer a higher wage to start than most other companies would. Most companies in the area stick to the National Apprentice minimum wage, um, whereas a lot of the engineering companies, because of the type and calibre of individuals that they like to take on, will offer slightly more. So engineers essentially work translating what chemists and scientists do um, into reality. We've got a skills shortage in engineering nationally and particularly in this area as well. We've got massive projects coming up, offshore wind industry being one of the four players at the moment, and we need talented young people to go into those sectors. There's a huge variety of jobs available in the sector, some offshore, some onshore, and all requiring a vast variety of different skill sets. So Airco Centre of Excellence um, was developed to create industry ready young people. Dong Energy has 2,000 people employed around the world, um, many of those based in the UK. Delivering quality training, making sure they are absolutely work ready, that they're coming fresh from school. The growth in this industry is rapid, um, you know, it's a young industry, um, it's a dynamic industry. Um, we've come a long way in quite a short space of time really. Can they turn up on time? Can they keep their iPhones away? But engineering is changing. The technicians of today and tomorrow are not the people doing the same job that technicians were doing five years ago. So there's a lot more automation in all of our plants and we need young people with those current skills, up-to-date skills, looking forward to what's coming down the track in engineering to be able to tackle some of the problems and the challenges we've got as a business. Can they work in a team? Can they communicate? Can they actually string a sentence together and not just grunt at us? Have they got a good personality? You know, can they have a bit of a laugh and a joke? Because it's not just about being serious all the time. I think it's important to understand that people in engineering love their job. They love doing what they're doing because they're making a real difference to society. And if you want to get involved in this industry, uh, it's all to be played for, really. The STEM subjects, the science, the technology, the engineering and maths, absolutely vital to get a good grasp of those. But don't lose sight of the application of those subjects in industry, across the country and locally as well. Within BP, uh, the kind of roles that you can go into from engineering range from um, the geoscientist type roles where you're looking for the raw materials, right the way through to jobs within our refining marketing business whereby you can either be dealing with close plant support, you're dealing actually with the problems of a, an operating unit, or you're dealing with the technology side, so how you actually convert the stuff that we get out of the ground into something that's usable. 84% of the University of Hull's 2016 engineering graduates were in graduate level work six months after graduation. But engineering is changing. The technicians of today and tomorrow are not the people doing the same job that technicians were doing five years ago. So there's a lot more automation in all of our plants and we need young people with those current skills, up-to-date skills, looking forward to what's coming down the track in engineering to be able to tackle some of the problems and the challenges we've got as a business. 
and they think overalls and they think oil and it's dirty and horrible and but the vast majority of engineering roles you can choose to work in a clean environment like Siemens the turbine blades it's engineering it's manufacturing but it's doing wind turbine blades it's not an oily engine in the Humber region the uh, engineers that work are amongst the highest paid professionals in the region uh, that buys good quality of life salaries for typical salaries for a chartered engineer average somewhere around 60 to 80 thousand pounds a year depending on the engineering discipline and the kind of work you're involved in you've got to find out what's your passion what sort of area because it's vast you could be building bridges you could be designing software you could be doing medical equipment the range is huge it's what are you interested in where do you want to change that world and that's where you've got to work out is who go talk to people People that maybe you go to school with, maybe they're teachers that had a previous job, maybe it's your mum and dad or your auntie and uncle or your next door neighbour, ask them what they do. And they've probably got a really interesting job, but you don't know what they really do. So ask them, what do you do? Can you take me along for a day? Can I, can I get more interested in what it is that you do to earn your money and buy that house next door? So Nestle has a great uh, programme of school visits and schools activities where we send a lot of our apprentices and graduates and young talent out into schools to tell them what it's really like to work at Nestle, whether that's in a factory, as an engineer, or whether it's in our commercial offices, uh, in sales. So they are able to tell the young people exactly what it's like. Problem solving aspects of doing maths, physics and chemistry and it sort of links in engineering I've always been quite interested. So I just started looking for apprenticeships and that was uh, one that really stood out locally so I applied and ended up getting it. I actually didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to be doing something practical. And so I went to, do you know the Why Me event? I went along there two years ago and that's where I met Erica and from there I started. I got some work experience and started doing their study programme. So I tried it out before I properly started it and I really enjoyed it. I, at, at first I was a bit overwhelmed, I was like, how am I going to deal with this? But uh, just through experience and then the training that I've been provided in the apprenticeships, I've got grips with it. I feel quite comfortable now. I did the study programme at Airco Centre of Excellence and it kind of introduces you into it. So it's like the, ve the very basics of it and you learn everything that you need to know to go into an apprenticeship so you know if you will go into that or if you do decide to go on to college and university. The university runs several open days throughout the year, usually on weekends, where students and their families can come onto campus, speak to our engineering department about the different options that are available to them, find out about entry requirements, etc. We're looking for young people to shine, whether that's about passion, about pride in doing their job, being a team worker, having a really curious mindset, asking questions, because these are the sort of people we want in our business, we need in our business to help take us forward. You can't be what you can't see and I think that's part of the problem. The girls can't always see the role models that are out there and what we do at Why Me is bring those role models, make them visible, ask them to talk about the fabulous careers they're already having and make them visible so they can see and they can be it.